We have a great show for y'all today. We've got a little leading lady who's changing lives, one music lesson at a time. We're gonna meet a Sudanese model who struck a chord by encouraging women to embrace the skin they're in. And we are kicking off our Music We Love series with a classic rock anthem. Get ready to get on your feet. Are y'all ready? Here we go. Welcome to the show. Now, I love music. There are some songs that everybody knows, no matter what kind of music you like. They are the soundtracks to our lives. So today, we're very excited to launch a brand new series on The Harry Show called Music We Love. <laughs> My first guest is an accomplished singer and songwriter who gave us one of the most beloved songs of an entire generation. Please welcome Rob Parisi. It's so great to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Thank you. I've been looking forward to this for a while. And, and for those of you who may not, uh, who, who know your voice, but may not know your handsome face, tell everybody what hugely successful song you're known for. I wrote the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> I wrote, sang, and produced, play that funky music, white boy. <laughs> so the most amazing thing is, it's been 41 years since 40. that song first went gold. Gee. And the most amazing thing is, I'm still white. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. It's, cra it's crazy. It's a small world, man. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> now, tell me the whole story. What led to the writing of Play That Funky Music? Well, we were a rock band, and um, disco was coming in, and uh, the rock clubs were closing down. And um, the only place I could get work, we were hard working four, five, six nights a week. And um, everybody had cars, home, you know, stuff like that. And uh, as the rock clubs were closing down, the discos were opening up. And I told the fellas one night, we were playing in a disco. I took them back on a break. And I said, um, I can't book this band anymore unless we're going to start playing more dance music. Right. So um, we had had some people at this disco that we were playing, and they would come up. they say, white boys going to do any funky music? And they said, yeah, yeah, you know, we, we're working it out. So um, I finally told the guys, I said, how about if Led Zeppelin would do That's the Way I Like It? Yeah. So I walked out and wrote down exactly what was going on with us. I had the first two verses in the chorus written by the time I got to the stage. And I wrote the last verse in the car on the way home. That's amazing. Yeah, my joke's always been, if I knew how big that song was going to be, I would have stayed up that night and wrote 700 more songs. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> now, with, with all of your success, is it important for you to give back? Yes. Um, I come from a very small town in Ohio, Mingo Junction, Ohio. Hi, everybody home. And, um, and um, it was a steel mill town and fell on some pretty hard times uh, because there's no more industry there. But we, the high school that I went to, it's a conglomeration of now three schools. And one that I graduated from was, was Bingo High School. And um, I told my wife one day, I said, you know what, we need to start helping as, you know, as much as we can. So we started a you know, scholarship endowment for Indian Creek High School. And um, every year, we send a couple students to graduate to um, 
give him a little kickstart in college. Boy, that's terrific, Rob. Well, it's, you know. Listen, that's, that's what we're all about here, and to know that you do that really means a lot. You have great, wonderful people. Thank you. I mean, your whole staff has been just the best. Well, it's not about our staff today. It's about you. We are dying to hear you perform. Would you perform for us? <laughs> for you? Yes. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, We're sir. We're going to have you go right over there and get ready. Now performing his mega hit song, Play That Funky Music, here is Rob Parisi. <laughs>